there are actually several facets to the pleading. Uh, one is, of course, the wrongful termination of Texas Tech, of, of Mike Leach by Texas Tech. Uh, in addition, you'll note that the uh, additional causes of, act, causes of action we added today, one of them is a whistleblower claim. And the reason that we added that, uh, you'll see that there are several elements listed in the petition about what constitutes a whistleblower claim under Texas law. And we feel Texas U Tech University violated uh, those, uh, or the statutes relating to whistleblower claims. But Mike Leach was terminated for pursuing his constitutionally protected uh, right to file a lawsuit. Our position is very simply that uh, Coach Leach had no other alternative because obviously at the time when he filed a lawsuit, he was had been suspended without due process, which was a violation of his constitutional uh, rights. And through Mr. Liggett, he sought uh, remedy through the courts. No other Division I university and no other athletic department is going to touch Coach Leach while these uh, frankly, unfounded and wrongful allegations are out there. And so principally, the answer to your question is, we want to uh, show that indeed, Coach Leach did nothing wrong, he has nothing to apologize for, he acted properly, and that Texas Tech, the university, certain university officials at Texas Tech University, uh, did not act properly in this matter. Let me just say again, the contract is for, it's a five-year contract for, Twelve and a half million. He was only permitted to uh, serve one year under that contract before being wrongfully terminated. Uh, again, though, it, it's the judge's discretion, and we're going to ask him for uh, discovery first, so that Texas Tech is compelled to produce the documents, specifically the internal documents, the internal emails, the internal messages or voicemails that what, what went on during this approximate ten-day period. Because again, I mean, even though we've pled with specificity, our facts as we know them, we believe that there are additional facts that we don't know about that Texas Tech is unwilling to give us that we want to have so that we can uh, make the record clear when the judge uh, reviews their motion uh, to dismiss based on sovereign immunity.